the goat. Thank you. Hey, ah! Thank you so much. Feel free to ask me anything, guys. I'll probably be live streaming for like 30 minutes to an hour. Just gonna be working on some videos. Random comic says, hey, uh. Ryan said, let's go, he, uh. Johnny T says, very happy to see these lives. We're in a golden age of comic book movie news right now. We are. We definitely are. It seems like every single day, there's something just mind-blowing. Like today, they just announced that um, Dr. Doom's not going to be the main villain for the Fantastic Four. So it leaves a lot of room for speculation as to who could be that villain. A lot of exciting things coming to Marvel. And same thing with DC, you know? DC just announced today that they're considering the Batman for so many award nominations, and deservingly so. Because personally for me, the Batman is still the best movie of the year. I haven't seen anything else that has really come close to it, to be honest. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. Grizzly says, hello, can I pitch a Marvel movie idea? Yeah, go ahead. Put it in the comments. See what everybody thinks. Random Comics says, favorite Spider-Man. My favorite Spider-Man of all time is Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. That is my favorite Spider-Man. He's the version that shaped who I am as a person. And when I think of Spider-Man, I always think of Tobey Maguire. I think the first Spider-Man and the second Spider-Man are some of the best movies ever made. Not just comic book movies, best movies ever made. And I know everybody hates Spider-Man 3, but I love Spider-Man 3. Come on. I, I, I love Spider-Man 3. Despite its flaws, I love that movie. I do. I just, I do. The Henderson, the Henderson says, joined early. Welcome. Thank you. Kazi says, yeah. Camden says, rewatching Smallville. Did you like Smallville? I loved Smallville. I loved Smallville. It's one of my favorite portrayals of Superman. Tom Welling is incredible in the role. I binged all 10 seasons in one summer with my brother, and it's a core memory for me. Love it. And also the intro. Somebody save me. It's, it's the greatest intro to a TV series. You never skip it. You never skip it. What? Amazing. Anime editor says... The GOAT. Thank you. Samantha says, Do you think John Krasinski will come back for the role as Reed Richards? I do. I do. Honestly, they can cast so many different people as Reed Richards since we're dealing with the multiverse and variants and stuff like that. So why not? Everybody loves John Krasinski as Reed Richards. And I thought he was great in the short time that he had in Multiverse of Madness. So yeah, make him the main Reed Richards. Why not? Kermit the Rock says, I'm back, Daddy. What's that, Kermit? The Henderson says, I'm making some comics, and one of them is the X-Men. It's called X-Men Days of Infinity. That's awesome. I hope you finish your comic, and I can't wait to read it if you uh, ever publish it. Johnny says, that is so crazy to me, but I do hope they do something great with Doctor Doom. Wonder who will play him. Yeah, honestly, I'm hoping Doctor Doom gets his own show or his own movie. We really need to establish this character. I really want to spend a lot of time with Doctor Doom. He is the greatest Marvel villain. And you need to have somebody who is just a beast of an actor to play Doctor Doom. I think you need somebody like Killian Murphy or that high caliber acting kind of talent for Doctor Doom. So we'll see. Noah says, I can't wait to see your review on Wakanda Forever. Thank you so much. I can't wait to watch the movie. There's a lot of uh, positive reviews out there. And I think there's some negative reviews, but overall, I think the movie is going to be pretty incredible. I love the trailers, and I think Ryan Coogler is such a talented director. If you've seen Fruitvale Station, you know this is the kind of director that will take any kind of story, whether it be an independent film or um, a grand scale epic scope kind of movie, 
no matter what, he will never sacrifice um, a, a, an interpersonal um, story. Always at the heart of his movies, there's something very uh, personal and close. And I, I, I just, that's what I love about Ryan Coogler. Do you think Batman 2 in 2025 is too late? No. No. If anything, I think it's the perfect amount of time because the anticipation for the movie is also part of the marketing. So I think if they still have people talking about the Batman until 2025, I think it gives them enough time to build a, a momentum of hype for the Batman 2. The Batman is a masterpiece. And now we're going to get a sequel. Matt Reeves is going to take his time with this script. Uh, I think it's going to be... It's going to be uh, amazing. So we'll see. Ryan says, wouldn't it just be crazy if Dr. Doom has like an end credit scene similar to Thanos in Avengers 2? I'm honestly hoping that's exactly what the what the end credit will be. Or maybe even the first post credit scene for Avengers, you know, where you see Thanos turn around and he just smiles. And everybody thought he was Hellboy. I think it would be amazing if Doctor Doom isn't in the first Fantastic Four movie, I think an amazing post credit scene for the Fantastic Four would be just having you're in Latveria and then you see somebody sitting on a on a throne and then you see Doctor Doom turn his face to the camera and that's all that's all you get. Not a lick of dialogue, just his look, his presence, and I think that'd be the perfect post credit scene for the Fantastic Four. Kermit says, favorite Dragon Ball Z or super character? My favorite Dragon Ball Z character is Goku. I think he's the goat of anime. My second would be Gohan. And they redeemed him in Dragon Ball Super Superhero. For those of you who have seen it, you know. Who do you think is going to win the World Series? I'm actually not caught up on uh, baseball right now. DCU Superman says, come on, Spider-Man 3 isn't that bad. Yeah, you're right. It's not. Johnny says, Spider-Man 3 is so underrated, so much fun. I completely agree. I love it. Who wins in a fight, Iron Man or Batman? Batman. Batman solos. <laughs> he solos the whole Marvel Universe. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see where we're at. Oh, wow. There's a lot of you. I'm going to make sure that I read every single comment, okay? Thank you guys for commenting and liking the video. I really appreciate you guys. I want to make sure that I don't skip over anybody. Here we go, here we go. Where we at, where we at? Okay. Nate's Cosplay Collectible says, Spider-Man 3 was only bad due to Sony. It's still an amazing film. First Spider-Man film I saw in 2008. Yeah, I completely agree. There's a lot of studio meddling with that film, but there's a lot of scenes in Spider-Man 3 that work. There's a lot of scenes where Sam Raimi's direction and, and heart really shine through. Uh, I love it, especially the scenes between Peter Parker and Aunt May when she's talking about, you know, Spider-Man doesn't kill people. You know, and how revenge can turn into something ugly. Oh, I love those scenes. Thematically, the movie is so powerful. It, it's it's fantastic. Cinematic, Cinematic King Balaler says, One of my inspirations. Love you, Blu-ray. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. DCU Superman says, it's still fun to watch Spider-Man 3. It's a blast. It's an absolute blast. Tell me you don't get hyped. Tell me you don't get hyped. Tell me you don't stand up when Harry comes in and helps out Peter. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the most EO moments of all time. Come on now. Love that moment. Z Dog says, just wanted to drop in and say what's up, man. Well, thank you so much. And I hope you're having a great day. Who wins a fight, Iron Man or Batman? Y'all already know, Batman! Which uh, which DC character do you need to see on the big screen? I think there's a really great opportunity to tell a story with Zatanna. And also the question. Uh, there's a lot of great, unique DC characters. But yeah, after seeing what they did with Dr. Fate, can you imagine Zatanna? Hey, uh, would go hard. Thank you guys for a thousand likes. Awesome. Mighty Danny says, yo, did you get your tickets for Black Panther? No, I haven't gotten them yet. We're probably going to buy them tomorrow. 
Samurai Sam says, hey, yeah. Thank you, Sam. There's been talks about Henry Cavill as Reed Richards. Well, I don't think that's happening. <laughs> Do you think there will be an Amazing Spider-Man 3 with Andrew Garfield? If Sony was smart, yes, they would make an Amazing Spider-Man 3. But, uh... Yeah, we know how they uh, how they roll over there. Hopefully, hopefully they do it. But man, what's going on over there? I'm 14. How do I convince my parents to let me go to the gym? Just let them know how much uh, how much it means to you to want to dedicate yourself to a process that will better yourself. Let them know how much it means to you. Um. I'm not sure why they don't want to let you go to the gym, but uh, if they have to go with you, go with them. Earn their trust, I guess. But yeah, let them know. Let them know how much it means to you. Be transparent with your parents. And um, yeah, really you want to earn their trust. So let them know that you, you're you safe and uh, that you want to be consistent with working out and, and hopefully they'll let you go. And if not, I mean, you have to respect your parents. Then find an alternative. Work out at home. Work out at home. Camden says, LOL, Tom's my favorite Superman. I'm excited for Man of Steel 2. I'm so hyped for Man of Steel 2. It's my most anticipated movie as of right now. Not just comic book movie. Movie right now. I've been waiting over 10 years for that. We need it. Who's your favorite Marvel hero? My favorite Marvel hero is Spider-Man. Who do you think Doctor Doom will be casted as? Um, as I mentioned before, I think Killian Murphy would be a really good Doctor Doom. Or I believe his name is Nicolaj Coster Waldo from uh, Game of Thrones. Jamie Lannister. I think he would be a phenomenal Doctor Doom. Phenomenal Doctor Doom. No. The other crease. That's in the corner. That's exactly. We gotta move it. Cloud for Cloud says Spider Man 2 or Logan. For me, it's Spider Man 2. I think Spider Man 2 has one of the greatest action sequences in a movie. And that's not the only determinant as to why I, f I favor that over Logan. I think thematically the movie is just so uplifting. I mean, the fact that I, I, they're kind of similar too, actually, them, um, thematically, because Logan doesn't want to be Wolverine anymore in Logan and in Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man says Spider-Man no more. But I think Spider-Man's comeback in Spider-Man 2 is just, uh, it's remarkable. It's remarkable. I mean, him coming back and then him stopping the train. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It just, Chills every single time. I got to give it to Spider-Man 2. I got to give it to Spider-Man 2. Love Logan though. Masterpiece. Venom says hi. Hey. Grizzly says, so this is my movie. His movie idea is for Thunderbolts. They should have D-level heroes going against the Thunderbolts. I wouldn't mind that. Venom says, who do you think should play Two-Face? I think Chris Pine would be fantastic as Two-Face. You need somebody who can do that Boy Scout. And you also need somebody who has that hard and edged. And you know Chris Pine can do that. If you watch Hell or High Water, <sighs> bruh, give him Two-Face, please. Miguel says, what do you think about the Wakanda Forever reviews? I think they're fantastic. As a collective, they're all overwhelmingly positive. So yeah, I can't wait to see it. Danny says, hope you remember me from your comments, bro. Just wanted to say that you make my day every time. Thank you so much. You guys make my day too. Do you think Dr. Doom can defeat Kang? Yes. Yes, I do. 
Young Mike says, I hope TASM 3 happens. Me too. I do too. Mr. Vengeance says, we need Johnny Storm's death in the Fantastic Four sequel, like in the comments. No, we can't see one of the Fantastic Four die already. We've waited so long just to see them in the MCU, and they haven't been done right in like over 20 years. So we need a lot of time before we get that storyline. The movie news guy says, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, baby, hey, yeah, let's get it. Got your ass. Yeah. Tasm 3 or Man of Steel 2? For me, it's Man of Steel 2. It's my most anticipated movie. Danny says, I love your videos, bro. I hope you notice me in your comments. I do. I see you, Danny. I see you. Aaron Bateman says, yo, bro, I was in your live earlier when you were working out. Hey, well, it's nice to see you again. Camden says, I hope we see Mr. Freeze. I hope so, too. I hope we see Mr. Freeze. We better. Turn this to the side. File. Uh, Brandon Lawrence says, yo, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on, Brandon Lawrence? Guys, if you don't follow Brandon Lawrence, follow him. He's like one of the most talented people on TikTok right now. He has some of the best sweaters that you can ever get your hands on. If you like Marvel, if you like DC, Star Wars, just pop culture in general. Just trust me. Follow this man. Venom, a good actor is Two-Faced. Yeah, Chris Pine. Chris Pine is Two-Faced. If not, get... um. I believe his name is Oliver Jackson Cohen. He was in Invisible Man, and he was also in A Haunting on Hill House. Oliver Jackson Cohen, I believe is his name. He would be an awesome Two-Face. Trust me. Lala says, he up, baby, he up. Facts, he up. Henderson says, do you think TASM 3 will be in late comments? Wow, I have a hundred new comments. You guys are killing it in the comment section. I'm going to try to do every single one. I'm going to try to do every single comment. <laughs> That's going to be my goal for this live. Wow. I appreciate you guys so much. Do you think the TASM 3 will come in late 2023? I hope so. Sony needs to get on that. S look, look. If I was running Sony, right? If I was in charge of Sony and I had Spider-Man, here's what I would do. Spider-Man 4, Tom Holland. Spider-Man 5, Tom Holland. 
Spider-Man 6, Tom Holland. Call it the Sinister Six, okay? That's Tom Holland. Then I would say, hey, Toby, you want some cheddar cheese? You want a you wanna, you wanna truckload of money? Spider-Man 4 with Tobey Maguire. Spider-Man 4 with Tobey Maguire. Include his daughter in that story. Then, Tasm 3 with Andrew Garfield. Tasm 3 with Andrew Garfield. So you have Tasm 3, you have Tom Holland's new Spider-Man trilogy, and you have Tobey Maguire with Spider-Man 4, and then you have the Spider-Verse animated movies. Money! Money! And good storytelling potential. Mr. Vengeance says, imagine dying before the Batman 2. <laughs> oh man, that would that would be unfortunate. But hopefully you get to see the, Man -Man, the Batman 2 in heaven or something like that. <laughs> El Muerto says, hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. It's Andre Edit says, is Doom in Black Panther 2? I have no idea. But there was a, a rumor or speculation that Marvel shot a Doctor Doom scene and then they took it out. So I think that was the original plan, to be honest. Some random dude says, I want to start lifting weights. It all seems so overwhelming. I don't know where to start. Any advice? Yeah, I got you. So lifting weights can get overwhelming. It can. Not only can it break you down physically and mentally. You just need to tell yourself this is going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. But you should look forward to that challenge. It's like playing a very hard game. For example, I've been playing God of War recently. And oh my goodness, is it a mental battle. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, I want to quit. This give me God of War mode sucks. I want to quit. I want to stop. But I keep going at it. I keep going at it. It's all about consistency. And when your consistency is at a high volume, you pick up the skill and the mindset to take down the boss that you're fighting. Sometimes it'll take you 10 tries. Sometimes it'll take you 20 tries. Sometimes it'll take you 30 tries. But once you get it, it's all worth it. So, that being said, take that mentality with lifting weights. And not just lifting weights, but anything in life that is challenging. Know that it's going to be hard. But if you put in the work, if you put in the time, if you're consistent, you will overcome that challenge. And once you do, it's going to be the most rewarding thing. And you're going to thank yourself. You're going to love yourself. You're going to feel confident. You're going to inspire others. Don't you want that for yourself? You do. You do, right? So get started. Yes, it's overwhelming. Okay, you've accepted that truth. But will you accept the truth that you're able to put in the work and get it done? Well, now's your time to start. Get the work done. Once you start lifting weights consistently, lifting weights gets easy. The hard part is making the right choices with your food. That will be the hard part. That will really challenge you. Believe me, I still struggle with that today. You know, I, my mom will make something like I don't the rice and beans. I'm like, huh? But I'll still eat it though. But I'll still eat it though. And guess what? <laughs> then I'll work even harder to work it off. You know what I mean? So just get the work done. I believe in you. Samantha says, uh, I'll... I was the one who asked the question about John Krasinski. Can you say it again? I left live for two seconds and I missed out on you. Yeah, yeah, sure. So what do I think about John Krasinski playing John? Uh, what do I think about John Krasinski playing Reed Richards? I think it's great casting. I thought he was great in Multiverse of Madness. I hope they use him. They have a really good opportunity to actually cast a lot of actors as Reed Richards to show the craziness of the multiverse and just different variants. Why not? The more the merrier John Krasinski I think would be great. And also it would be a bonus if he brought in his wife, Emily Blunt, who's one of the best working actresses today, to also play Sue Storm. Yeah, let's get it. Aaron Bateman says, will Fisk go against Spider-Man? I really hope so. I really hope so. Kingpin is an awesome villain. What a great opportunity it would be for them to show Kingpin with Spider-Man and Daredevil in Spider-Man 4 or Daredevil Born Again. It would go nuts. Samurai says, e Aaron says, is Vanessa in the MCU? 
I think you're referring to Vanessa, Kingpin's Vanessa. I don't know. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're talking about that Vanessa, yeah, she's in the MCU. Because Daredevil takes place in the MCU. Logan says, yeah. Mighty Denny says, yo, they should have got you to go to the Wakanda Forever premiere. And that would have been really cool. That would have been really cool. <clears throat> I love going to the Marvel premieres. When I went to the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness premiere with my brother, Dream Come True. If I go again, I'm going to take the love of my life. And then I will cross off the uh, bucket list of um, things to do. Uh, I went with my brother. Now I need to go with the love of my life. And I'm all set on movie premieres uh, with Marvel. You know, Mikkel says, who wins, Sentry or Superman? Superman. Oh, wow. I think uh, all the comments went to recent, so I skipped out on 100. Hold on. I'm going to go back, and I'll make sure I get everybody. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Jorge says, the Batman solo is super mid. What? Stop. Superman wins. If Robert Pattinson wasn't playing Batman, who would you have chosen for the role? That's a good question. I think I've written it down somewhere of like who I wanted it to be. Um, but I can't remember. Honestly, I got you. This might sound weird, but hear me out. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal as Batman. Here's why. One, he's one of the best actors working today. Two, if you've seen movies like Zodiac or Prisoners, there's just something fascinating about watching Jake Gyllenhaal as a detective figure things out. It's fascinating cinema. And who better for that than him when it comes to Batman? Trust me. The intensity that Jake Gyllenhaal brings to every role, whether it be Southpaw, Nightcrawler, whether it be End of Watch. I mean, yeah, I think that would have been perfect. Camden says, Tobey Maguire's trilogy is my favorite Spider-Man. Great choice. Aaron Bateman says, Batman versus Wilson Fisk. Batman bodies that man. Alex says, I'll always defend Brendan Routh, Superman, Clark Kent. Good. I'll always defend Superman Returns. There's a lot of great things in Superman Returns. The Superman sequence is one of the greatest scenes in any movie. Spider-Man 4 should be J. Jonas J Jameson put a, putting a hit on Spider-Man. And later on, Spider-Man 6 will build Sinister 6. That'd be really cool. That'd be really cool. Max says, Spider-Man 3 was the first film I ever saw in theaters. I was four. Now that's an epic experience as a four-year-old. Henderson says, they should include you in premieres like Wakanda Forever. I would love to go to every single premiere. I don't think I would be able to go to every single premiere, but I would love to go to uh, any premiere, really. I love movies so much. Sign of the Goblin says, hey, man, hope you're having a great day. What's the best movie you've seen lately? The best movie I've seen lately? The Batman. Samantha says, do you think Reed Richards will come in the Avengers and help them? Yeah, absolutely. I think Reed Richards is going to be the face of Marvel very soon. I think that's going to happen. Teddy says, yeah. Happy Christmas summer day. Hey, happy early Christmas. All year round, baby. Christmas vibes. Prue says, yeah, my brother. Hope your day's going good. Thank you, it is. It's going great. Camden says, I love how honest about I love how honest you are about your opinions. And you're fun to watch. Thank you. Thank you. I will always be honest about my opinions. Always. Mr. Vengeance. Nah, how Spider-Man 2 is relatable as F. Poor Peter. I know, right? Super relatable. But that's the beautiful thing about Spider-Man. So 
Kristoff says, who do you think will play Mr. Freeze in the Batman 2? Giancarlo Esposito, Brian Cranston, and Jason Isaacs, I think, would be great choices for um, for uh, uh, Mr. Freeze. Kevin says, can I get an E-ya? Yes, e -ya! Hey, thank you so much, guys, for five... Point one thousand likes. Yeah. Are we gonna get it to ten k? Is that possible? Is that possible or what? I think if I think if ten of you right now like this ten times, that'll be a lot, right? <laughs> Alex says, "Do you like Brandon Routh Superman, Clark Kent?" I do, even though the movie isn't that great. I, I think the movie's great. I think Superman Returns is great. I think there's a lot of great things about it. Yes, there are flaws in the movie, but I love Brandon Routh as Superman. That, that, if I'm watching a movie about Superman and it makes me feel like I'm watching a movie about Superman, I mean, that's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Great modern throwback to Christopher Reeve. Wow, this just jumped to almost 8,000 likes? You guys are insane. Yeah. Nah, if this is 10K, it's gonna make my day, guys. Serious. You guys are you guys are too kind. Did you watch Black Panther? How was it? I haven't seen it yet. But thank you for the question. Samantha says, Do you think the flash will come out or will drop like they did with the Batwoman? Yo, we just hit ten thousand likes. Thank you guys so much. Wow, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Seriously. You guys are awesome. Let me read that again. Samantha says, do you think the Flash... Yo, these glasses, though. Yeah. Thank you for the glasses. Samantha says, do you think the Flash will come out or will they drop it like they did with the Batwoman? No, I think the Flash will come out. I think they put way too much money in the Flash. I think it's going to come out and we're going to see exactly the direction that the DC Universe is going to take. CTG says, favorite superhero movie of 2022? The Batman. Boyd, have you seen The Flash? I saw the first two seasons of The Flash and then I checked out. The Tomorrow Night says, bro, why have they not cast you as the Joker yet? Your smile is killer, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to play the Joker. They're missing out. They're missing out here. You know, honestly, I think it'd be really cool. I think it'd be really cool if, like, I had the opportunity to voice the Joker in, like, an animated project or something like that. I would love that. I'd have so much fun with that. That'd be so much fun. <laughs> That'd be so fun. Uh, let's see. Ethan says, hey, I'm always sad because no girls like social anxiety ruins me and I feel bad. Well, I'm sorry that you experienced that, Ethan. I just want to let you know that, you know, I I, I also can struggle with anxiety, too. I, I think a lot of people can relate to you, Ethan. So just know that you're not alone. And um, I also want you to know that your feelings are completely valid. You know, sometimes life can can be scary. Sometimes it can feel really lonely, really. But what helps me is that I, I, I love talking to the people that are really close to me. I love talking to the people that know me and I love using them as an opportunity to build my confidence and be able to talk with strangers and be able to you know, network with other people that are in our field and stuff like that. So just know that one, you're significant. Two, your voice matters. So don't ever be afraid to speak up or talk about something or you know, even the ability to listen, I think is so powerful. So if you can utilize that to increase your, your confidence, I think you're going to be able to do it. So you got this, Ethan. Thank you. I mean, even you commenting right now is a step forward in that. So just know that you're progressing and yeah, I can't, I can't wait to see your growth, man. Please, please keep uh, chiming in with us and, and share uh, all your passions with us. Sean Comics says, Hey man. Hey, what's up? Oh, thank you so much. Nick Goku. Nick Goku, let's get it. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Vince says, I'm making my home gym at the moment. Hey, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Build that home gym. Build that home gym and then build yourself. Build yourself. Get big. Yo, Nick Goku, thank you so much for the love right now. Thank you so much for the love. You a goat, Nick Goku. You a goat. Ethan says, you like action figures. I love action figures. Oh, I love action figures. My brother and I own so many hot toys for movies that we love. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. You would not believe it. Patrick says, can you say aloud he uh he uh <laughs> AK says, do you ever think Henry Cavill Superman will enter Robert Pattinson's universe? I don't think so. But personally, if I was running DC, I would make it happen. Look, here's the thing. A lot of people like Batman to be in his own universe and to be grounded and stuff like that. But I think Batman is so much more interesting when you introduce other heroes in his world. And I feel like it becomes even more grounded that somebody like Batman will encounter something as crazy as an alien like Superman. Right? Like, I don't know. I also love when Batman has that arc of like, I work alone. To becoming a team member. To becoming a key founder of the Justice League. I don't know. I want to see that stuff. What about you guys? Yo, Nick Goku, thank you so much. Yo, you're amazing right now. Taylor says, how's God of War going? It's going great. I think it's one of the best games I've ever played. And it's very difficult. Yo, we just got 20,000 likes. Thank you guys. Wow, I can't, I can't believe this right now. I can't believe this right now. Thank you guys. I, I don't even know what to say. Tommy says, do you make YouTube videos? Yes, I do. Any video that I make will be on YouTube or on TikTok. You can follow me. My YouTube channel is Goat Movie Podcast. G-O-A-T, as in greatest of all time, movie podcast. You'll be able to find all my videos there. But if you're following me on TikTok, then you pretty much see all my videos. Lalo says, yeah, yeah, baby. Vince says, Super Saiyan mode. Hey, yeah. Tomorrow night says, who is your Batman? The definitive Batman is Kevin Conroy. My l favorite live action Batman is Christian Bale. CTG says, Joker impression? <laughs> you guys know I love my Joker impressions. Derek says, can you give us a he, yeah? Always, always. Follow says, Team Spider-Man all the way, baby. Facts. Team Spider-Man all the way. Mr. Vengeance says, it's crazy how Robin really existed in the DCEU. He, uh, yeah, what's crazier is that they never even showed him. We only got to see his uh, costume after his death. And it was Dick Grayson. Oh, my heart broke. Grizzly says, do you box? No, I don't box. Prue says, side note, you excited for the Jamie Foxx Spawn movie? I am. I am. Fruit Loop says, hello, how are you? I'm doing great. Oddigy says, do you have school or not? I graduated uh, with the bachelor's in film. Jar has says least favorite MCU movie. I think my least favorite MCU movie might be. Hmm. Honestly, it might be Thor: Love and Thunder. It might be Thor: Love and Thunder. If not Thor: Love and Thunder, then maybe it's Thor: The Dark World. Yeah. Vin says, "I want to see Steven's Arrow and Grant's Flash in the DCU. Yes, for a, a Crisis on Infinite Earths storyline would be really cool." Logan says, "Favorite non-superhero movie? Do you love animation? My favorite non-superhero movie. It might be Interstellar. It might be Interstellar. Interstellar was the first movie that made me question if it was better than The Dark Knight. Yeah." 
I love Interstellar so much. Blew my absolutely blew my mind. Blew my mind. And the music is probably like my my favorite score of all time too. Do I love animation? Yes, I do love animation. A lot of people like to say that animation is just for kids, but I completely disagree with that statement. I think animation is its own form of compelling storytelling. And my favorite animated movie probably has to be The Lion King. I love The Lion King. <clears throat> BD Darkness says, do you think Hugh Jackman will come back for a couple of last movies? I hope so. I hope they give him a truckload of money so that he can enter uh, Avengers Secret Wars. We need that Wolverine. <clears throat> Someone says, Angel, you're the greatest. I love your, I love your positivity, King. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Young Mickle says, should Sentry be added to the MCU? Yes. Yes. Mr. Vengeance. Babe, you seen Drive with Ryan Gosling? Think it's worth thing do you think it's worth watching or not? Yes, Drive is one of the best movies ever. David says, Thank you for always making my day. Hey, thank you. You guys make my day too. Venom says, What villains do you, what villains do you want in the Batman trilogy? I want to see villains we haven't seen before. I want to see villains we haven't seen before. And then I want to see all of them. Batman has the greatest rogues gallery ever. Set them all up and bring them all together. And let's see Robert Pattinson fight all of them. That'd be incredible. Samantha says, what are your thoughts of recasting Thunderbolt Ross? Or do you think that was a good choice or bad choice? I think recasting Thunderbolt Ross was good. And I love the choice. Harrison Ford is uh, a legend. So, Darkness says we need a Thing versus Hulk movie yes we need a lot of versus movies I'd love to see Thing versus Hulk and I'd love to see Wolverine versus Hulk thoughts on if Lucasfilm makes a Luke Skywalker TV show kind of like Kenobi I would love it I would love to see it especially with uh, the approval of Mark Hamill if he gives his blessing and we get an actor to come in and play Luke Skywalker and we get to see a little story after Return of the Jedi, whew, would be fire. Wisdom says, what's up, bro? Billy says, how was your workout? It was great. Uh, House of Music Talk says, what video are you editing? Right now I'm editing my um, gaming stream of God of War Part 3. For those of you guys who have been watching my God of War streams, thank you so much. I've been playing the game for the first time, and it's it's so cool. Walter says, Jackie Early Haley deserves to play the Scarecrow role. Yes, I would love to see him in the Batman universe. He gave one of the greatest performances in a comic book movie as Rorschach in Watchmen. Mr. Vengeance says, I hope we see Bruce get a haircut. Yeah, I hope we see Billionaire Bruce in the Batman too. Weimer says, hey, uh, hey, uh, baby. Max says, do you like the look of the new Joker from the new movie or Heath Ledger? Heath Ledger is like my favorite portrayal of Joker in live action. Ella says, hi, hi. Axel Parker, what do you think about Spider-Man Lotus? I think the VFX team did an incredible job with Spider-Man Lotus. It was very unfortunate to find out the uh, the truth behind the scenes with uh, the people involved. Very, very disappointing. David says, thank you for always making my day, bro. Thank you, David. Maxwell says, Benny Safty from Good Time would be a perfect Two-Face, and he has already worked with Robert. Yes, and I think Matt Reeves actually might choose Benny Safty uh, for Two-Face. Yo, is this about to hit 30,000 likes? Nah, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. I, I don't think that's happening. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where did the phrase he-ya come from, and what's the origin of the phrase? So he-ya came from me. Uh, my brother and I were watching Dragon Ball Z and the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy to prepare for No Way Home. And during one of the Dragon Ball Z movies, I was like, hey, ah! during one of the Goku screams. And uh, that con I continued saying that during like hype moments in Dragon Ball Z and Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy. And everybody thought it was hilarious. And then everybody else was saying, hey, uh, so I was like, 
Hey, yeah, uh, and it, it just stuck. So that's the origin of yeah. Um, let's see. Favorite comic book movie, The Dark Knight. What are your top three favorite comic book movies? My my top three are The Dark Knight, Spider Man Two, and the third one is hard. The third one is hard. I'm I'm gonna say The Dark Knight, Spider Man Two, and for my third one, I might have to go with Avengers Endgame. I I just think the culmination of the entire MCU in that one last movie was so perfect. It was so satisfying as a Marvel fan. I think I got to go with Endgame. Jack says, if WB disrespects the Batman 2 in any way, I'm going to cry. Yeah, they won't. The Batman 2 is in good hands. Trust me. Mr. Vegan says, Sasha's Party 2 or Man of Steel 2? Man of Steel 2! Stop it with that! <laughs> Jesse says, what are your thoughts on Tales of the Jedi? I'm actually going to make a review about that. But let me tell you this right now as a preview. Star Wars Tales of the Jedi was peak Star Wars. The development that they gave Count Dooku, like seeing more into his psyche of his downfall, was remarkable. And also Ahsoka versus that Inquisitor. What? Hey, uh! Goaded. Rog says, the goat. Thank you. David says, straight facts, my guy. <laughs> One under says, making a whole speech. <laughs> uh, Law says, what product do you use on your hair? I got a similar hairstyle for me. I, I made a video on this. Wash it with, um, wash it with Suave, kids three in one. <laughs> and then I forgot the, uh, the molding gel, the name of it. I think it was called Milbon. Milbon. Nick says, did you watch the new Dragon Ball movie? Yes. Dragon Ball Super Superhero is one of my favorite movies of 2022. They redeemed Gohan. He is now the beast that he was always meant to be. Yo, thank you guys for 30,000 likes. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. Thank you, guys. Some random dude says, great advice, my man. Thank you so much. I think I'm going to get started tomorrow. Very inspiring. Hey, you're inspiring. You got this. Chrome says, you should be in the Batman too. I would love to be in the Batman too. I just want to be an extra. I just want to be on set. That's my goal. I just want to be on set and, and, and be a thug. I'll be thug number two. If I can get beat up by Robert Pattinson's Batman, whoa. That would be incredible. That would be incredible. David says, I'm going to see Black Adam Saturday. Awesome. I hope you enjoy. Alex says, do you like Brandon Routh's Superman? Clark Kent. Yes, I do. I love it. The barn scene is amazing. Stuck in Carbonite says, what's up, Blu-ray? Hey, how's it going? So Goofy says, can we date? Sorry, Goofy. I'm sorry. No, we can't. Do you want World Breaker Hulk to be in a movie? I do. I want to see that. Jack Nurse says, I was tired from the screen like crazy. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Dude, keep killing it, dude. I love seeing your stuff. Seriously. I love seeing your stuff. It's very rare when I come across videos and I'm like, I actually like what this person is doing. And uh, I, I love everything you're doing, man. All your opinions. I love the way you express yourself. Really, really great stuff, man. Really, really great stuff. Keep it up. Keep it up. 
Zoo Wee Mama says, your favorite comic book story you've read. I love Astonishing X-Men. I love Astonishing X-Men, volume one, two, and three. Whoa. For those of you who know, those are like some of the best X-Men stories right there. And uh, yeah, Cyclops is a legend. Legend. Wolverine's my guy. But if you read Astonishing X-Men... Cyclops is the guy. He's the guy. Young Mickle says, Do you like the movie Chronicle? I love Chronicle. It's one of the most underrated movies ever. Samurai says, Can I get it? Yeah! Yes. Were you a fan of Smallville back then as a kid? Yes, I love Smallville. I still love it to this day. It's one of my favorite shows ever. <laughs> Richie Rich! Fight Club or American Psycho? Love you, brother. That's a really good question. Fight Club versus American Psycho. Both of those movies are elite. Which one is better though? American Psycho or Fight Club? That's a tough question. I love me some Christian Bale. I love me some Brad Pitt. What do you all think? Fight Club versus American Psycho. I love how both of those movies kind of like, they're a commentary on like society, right? And not kind of fitting into this mold because it could drive you crazy. I think I got to give it to Fight Club. I think Fight Club has the better message. But I think American Psycho has the best performance out of both of those movies. What a great question. Nick says, so sad that the Batman 2 doesn't come out till 2025. I know, that is very sad. It's a very long wait, but we're going to be here. Jack Wolf says, how did you feel when you saw Superman at the end of Black Adam? I felt elated. It was cathartic. One of the best moments ever. I got to share it with my brothers and my loved ones. We got to see it in theaters. My, rea my reaction's up on TikTok, so you guys will know exactly how I feel if you watch that. Uh... Grego Baggin says, are you watching Andor? It's amazing. It's amazing so far. I haven't seen the latest episode. It is uh, some of the best Star Wars that we've seen in a minute. Aaron says, do you want the Young Avengers? Yes, I do. Uh, and Zan says, what's up, man? Love your videos and reviews. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for the kind words. Vin says, what do you think about Jackie Chan joining the MCU? <sighs> It'd be perfect. I need Jackie Chan in the MCU. Jackie Chan is one of the best. Samantha says, do you like Doctor Who? I actually haven't seen Doctor Who yet, but maybe I'll get to it one day. Got a lot of eas in the chat. Thank you. Young Mikko, Angel, do you watch John Campia? I used to, but he lost all my respect when he uh, posted screen grabs of Spider-Man No Way Home. Lost all my respect. When he posted that screen grab, I don't know if you guys remember this, but he posted a screen grab of Daredevil in the movie and of uh, Toby and Andrew in the movie. And he completely lost my respect. How do you think Superman can be introduced in Robert Pattinson's universe? I think it would be really cool if Superman was a seasoned hero in his universe. Because Robert Pattinson just started out. So I think it'd be really cool if Superman was a seasoned hero. And then you see them working together. And Superman kind of inspiring Batman to be even better. Especially because when you think about the ending of the Batman. You know, he's learning about hope and justice. And being better and more than just vengeance. So it'd be amazing if Superman even taught him that even more. Jack Nair, Blu-ray the Go. Thank you so much, Jack Nair, bro. You, you a beast. The Faithless Devil. Can I get a hee -yah! One Under says, what movie do you think has the best CGI? Great question. Great question. What movie has the best CGI? I got to think about this one. Let me think about this one. You guys put in the comments too. What is the best? What movie has the best CGI? I'll tell you this right now. There's two movies that come to mind. 
for me, it's Avatar and War for the Planet of the Apes. I kid you not. Watching Avatar, I was like, I, I, I was mesmerized, even to this day. To this day. If you watch Avatar, how did they do that? How did they do that? If you watch War for the Planet of the Apes, I, I, am I not watching real apes right now? It, War for the Planet of the Apes is basically planet Earth. That's how good the CGI is. It's planet Earth. We're watching planet Earth. It's ridiculous. It looks like you're watching real apes. Redonkulous. Mr. Vengeance says, Marvel vs. DC 2030, directed by James Gunn. Yo! Yo! That'd be sick. Mr. TikTok, do you watch Heels? No, I don't. I don't know what that is. Halloween Kid, in the future, my goal is to make movies for audiences, especially you. Hey, I can't wait to watch a movie. <laughs> Flex the guns. Love you, brother. Yeah. Isaac says, yo, man, you're the most positive creator on the app. Hey, hey, thank you. Thank you. Team E, yep. Tommy says, you're the biggest legend ever. Thank you so much. Juan says, love your content, brother. Thank you. Mr. Vengeance says, we need a Chronicle sequel with Matt as superhero camera POV. We need a Chronicle sequel and we need a sequel to Jumper. Have you guys seen Jumper? We need a sequel to Jumper with Hayden Christensen. Please. Please. Isaac says, yo, man, I hope you've had an amazing day uh, so far. I love your content. Thank you so much. Much love, man. Love your content. I could use a new TikTok friend. Thank you so much, Nick. What was it like moments before meeting The Rock? So some of you know I met The Rock. I had the opportunity to interview him for Black Adam. And uh, he, he was just amazing. He really is one of the nicest people I've ever met. And what, a, what an inspiring role model for me. He's been my entire life, not just a, not just a physical uh, inspiration, but also a, a mental inspiration. He has that like one percent mentality. You know what I mean? He's the hardest worker in the room, and that's why he's so successful. And uh, I respect that so much. So having the opportunity to interview him was so cool. So cool. And then moments after, you know, I walked up to him. I was like, hey, Rock, you know, I've been watching you since I was a kid. So, you know, this this really means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, if it's cool with you, I would, I would love to promote, you know, Black Adam. Uh, I think my fans would really like it too. And he was like, oh, yeah, of course, brother. Let's do it. Let's do it. And, uh... That meant a lot to me. That really meant a lot to me that he, you know, he could have walked away with the security. He could have said no, you know, he could have said what? I don't know. But he really, I saw it in his eyes. He was really open to supporting me and, and, and lifting me up too. And uh, sure enough, we did it. You know, we, uh, we, we promoted Black Adam together. I was just so hyped. I was so hyped. And, uh... Yeah, history made. Mr. Vengeance says, Man is Steel soundtrack. Yeah. Kazi says, Can you say hi to my dog, Bailey? LOL. Hi, hey, Bailey, what's up? Who's your favorite Breaking Bad character? My favorite character might be Jesse. I think Jesse's my favorite character. 
the best performance without a doubt is uh, Brian Cranston as Walter White. Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation. Hey, uh. Hey, Jonathan, thank you so much for the sunglasses. Jess so obsessed says, You're a joy. I love your reviews. You caught me with your Game of Thrones journey. Thank you so much, Jess. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Young Mikkel says, Who wins, Black Adam or The Flash? The Flash, baby, The Flash. Halloween says, every day when I'm having a bad day, you always cheer me up and put a smile on my face every single time. Thank you. Hey, thank you. That's really nice to hear, guys. Thank you. Mr. Vengeance says, the Batman 2 color theme should be blue. Yes, it should. Yes, it should, especially if Mr. Freeze is the villain. Come on, we need that. Okay, I think I... Uh, I think I caught up. Let me see. Jonathan Coleman says, top five MCU movies. For me, it's Endgame, Infinity War, Winter Soldier, No Way Home, Iron Man. Those are my five. A wife says, if any of you have seen Stronger with Jake Gyllenhaal, he can play tortured and traumatized. Perfect. Perfect Batman. I haven't seen Stronger. I can't wait to watch that because not only is Jake Gyllenhaal in that, but also Tatiana Maslany. Nicholas Holt almost played Batman. I know, and he would have been a great Batman too. Favorite horror movie. For me, it's Scream. Let's see where are we at, where are we at, where are we at? Where are we at? I wanna make sure that I don't skip anyone. And if you guys saw that like I, I skipped your your question, I'm sorry. I probably missed it. Let's see where we are. Uh, the Maddox says, Angel, I love you so much. Keep making your dreams come true and let's keep it moving, baby. E, uh, thank you so much. Much love, guys. Yo, are we about to hit 35,000 likes? No. I have to be seeing that wrong. I have to be seeing that wrong. Jack Nerd sent a rose. Thank you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. If you could pick any comic Batman story to be adapted in live action, what would it be? Court of Owls. Court of Owls, yeah. 35,000 likes. 35,000 likes! Unreal. Unreal! Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. All right, I think that's it. I, I, I don't think it's going to hit more than that, right? I, I don't think it's hitting 40K. There's just no way. <laughs> Let's see. It's Comic says, hey, Blu-ray, I asked you for advice a few weeks ago about TikTok. I was at 6K trying to hit 10K. Now I'm at 9K. Look at that. Look at that. It's because you keep working hard and you're consistent and you're going to hit 10K in, in no time. I promise. You're going to hit 10K in no time. Andrew says, sub to Go Movie Podcast. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Alex says, were you a fan of Smallville TV back then as a kid? Yes, y'all know. I love Smallville. It's Common says, thanks for advice, bro. Hey, it's my pleasure. Yeah! What's up, baby? Hey. Yeah. What's up, Hey, baby, I'm, I'm, I'm about to hit 40K right now. I know. I was hitting likes on the way here. What? Like, like, like. Spamming the likes. Yes, sir. Someone asked, can we date? You said, sorry, no. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. 
Hey, this is Carrie. Are you guys really going to get this to 40,000 likes? 40K! 40K! 40K? What? Do you take pre-workout? If so, what do you recommend? I don't take pre-workout. I eat Rice Krispies before the gym. <laughs> Rice Krispies, baby! Like, not the cereal, the treat. Not the cereal, yeah, the treat. Even worse. Uh, let's see. What do you think about the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania trailer? I thought it was great. I just wish they would have kept in the line where Kang said, uh, are you one of the Avengers I killed before? That would have been so cold. 40,000 likes! Yeah. No, that's too hea. That's too hea. Hea, hea! Okay, if this hits... If this hits... <laughs> if this hits 50,000 likes, I'm going to call it a day. If you guys can do that for me, I'm going to call it a day. And, uh, yeah. Okay, let's let's run through these really quick as fast as we can. Give me the loudest hea. I want to... I want to, but I can't because I might get the cops called on me. Let's be real. Uh, do you think Superman can be dark side without holding back? Yes. Yes. Spider Choi says, bro, you rule. I love your videos. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Also, my daughter, Luna, says hello to you guys. She, she, she says hello to you guys. And so does my son, Rocky. <laughs> And my, and my other daughter, Lola. Come here, mommy. You want to say hi to everybody? Uh, let's see. Uh, Samantha says, I'm a TikToker like you. I don't know what to do talking about. Hold on, let me read this again. Samantha says, I'm a TikToker like you. I don't know what to talk about. I don't want to copy you, but I like what you do. Okay, so then just talk about the things that you love talking about. I mean, there's a lot of comic talkers that talk about, you know, the same subjects because, I mean, we're all covering the same thing. But as long as you don't, you know, copy other people in terms of, like, how you feel about something um, or, like, word for word, then you're totally fine. Just share your own unique opinions about something, and that's what makes you different. It's Comic says, I'm saying Fight Club, no lie against American Psycho. Nice. Jack Nerd says, I got to go Fight Club. It's so hard, though. Yeah, it's so hard. Fight Club versus American Psycho, that is so hard. Alex says, my least favorite is Dean Cain as a character. Plus, he's a crappy person. I want to start reading DC Comics. Where do you recommend starting? What was the first DC comic I read? Honestly, I would start with The Long Halloween. And if you like that, I think you'll be ready for the world of DC and what they can bring to these characters. The maturity, uh, the dramatic uh, storylines. Yeah, if you like The Long Halloween, you're in for a ride. Name a superhero for an edit. Batman Beyond, Terry McGinnis. Let's get it. Silver says, I'm a film major in college. My pitch for a black and white horror film got green light. Green lit. That's amazing. I wish you the best, and uh, I can't wait to watch it. Let's get it. Get it out there. Maddox says, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Henry Cavill is back as Superman. Let's go. Friday Random Media says, respect, respect, bro. Respect. Thank you so much. You're really behind on the comments. I know. I'm super behind. <laughs> I'm, I'm making sure that I get everybody. We're almost at 45,000 likes. Let's get it. Vince says Avatar for best CGI. Romez says War for, for the Planet of the Apes is amazing. Yes. Hollow, Hollow says, yo, Angel, it's Javi. Hey, what's up, Javi? Friday Random Media says, War of the World surprised me with the CGI and how it holds up. Yeah, Steven Spielberg is just... Steven Spielberg is crazy. Man, you're really behind. You should just, like, catch... Go to the bottom. Really? Yeah. I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to you're skip so anyone. Behind. Really behind? It only says 50 new messages. That's a lot. <laughs> uh, let's see. Peyton Kick says, Thoughts on the Lord of the Rings trilogy? 
It's the greatest trilogy of all time. Chino and Bean says, Angel spit in. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Daniel says, thoughts on Shadow the Hedgehog? Goaded. Do you like Transformers? I think they have great special effects. Yes, I love the trilogy. I don't care what anybody says. It's a great trilogy and the special effects are amazing. Uh, let's see. Goku or Vegeta? Goku! Uh, Acre Central says, I stopped posting TikToks, but you're inspiring me to want to make more. Should I start posting? Yes. Post. We want to see your stuff. Tom Welling and Brendan Routh are so underrated. Yes. Uh, let's see, let's see. Hey, uh! I'm from Long Island, New York. Well, hello, New York. Do you speak Spanish? Yes. Terrible, terrible Spanish. <laughs> terrible Spanish. I try. I try my best. I really do. I think I'm going to start practicing it more, hopefully later on when I have more time, but I, I try my best. Chris says, love you, bro. Thank you so much. Much love. Hey, we're about to hit 45,000 likes. And then we'll just be 5,000 away from 50,000 likes. <laughs> Y'all are insane. Portillo says, the goat, the legend. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing amazing. Jose says, how come you're not playing God of War? Because I needed a little mental break from God of War. Been losing sleep over that a little bit. <laughs> uh, have you seen the movie Ghost in the Darkness? I have not. Portillo says he has an electrifying personality. Hello, uh, Were you ever a fan of WWE? Yes, I watched WWE growing up with my cousin and we loved it so much. 45,000 likes, baby. Let's get this bread. Oh, yeah. Man, that was a while ago. Man, I am behind all these messages. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Michael says, you should collab with Cosmic Wonder or 3C Films or Tyrone Magnus. Yeah, sure. Whoever you guys want to see me collab with, I'm sure I'd want to do it. Butthole Master says, hi, I'm a big fan. <laughs> I found my secret account. Oh, thank you, guys. Uh, Spidey says, congrats on meeting The Rock, bro. Just incredible. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> have you watched Yellowstone? I have not. Black Adam is the best DC movie, in my opinion. I respect that. For me, my favorite DC movie of this year is the Batman he uh love from New York brother thank you so much hi says hi <laughs> I'm a big fan hi so goofy says Ash Williams is greater than Jason Voorhees what what did I just see that right now? <laughs> I respect that. But Jason is, come on. Jason is something else. Mark Hamill equals the best Joker, yes. Yo, we're, we're almost 2,000 away from 50K. We're almost 2,000 away from 50K. If one of you hit the like button 2,000 times, we'll be there. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> Are you more passionate about comic books or film? I'm equally passionate about them, but movie is, movies are like my first love. Chrome says, let's get it, baby. Let's get it. We're about to hit 50,000 likes and then I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Blu-ray Angel for President 2024. 2024. Yeah. If you play God of War, why do you have a mirror? <laughs> so you guys can see me play. Hello from Australia. Hello. 
Angus says, remember me from the other live? Yes, how could I forget you? What is your most anticipated film for next year? What's coming out next year? I have to look that up again. Hello from Texas. Hello, Texas. Love your enthusiasm. He, uh, we just hit 50,000 likes, baby. Yeah. yeah. Unreal, guys. Unreal. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Couldn't have done it without you guys. <laughs> All right, I'm going to... I'm going to read three more comments. <laughs> Spider Choi says, I hope to meet you someday. My band will tour soon. I got you on the guest list. Wow, what an honor. Thank you so much. Yes, I can't wait to watch you play. All right, let's see. Who's... Speed round. You're going slow. Speed round? Okay, speed round. Speed round. <laughs> speed round. Is that your girlfriend in the background? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Sam says, see you, man. Vince says, he sent, Vince sent a mic. Thank you so much. Uh, rate Black Adam 1 to 10. 8 out of 10. Spider-Man is daddy. <laughs> yeah. I think you're caught up. I think I'm caught up. All right, I think that's it. In case you guys don't have any more questions, I think that's it. But I think you missed something in between. Did I? I saw one when you guys getting married. Dang, I'm sorry, guys. I hate missing people's questions. All right, Key Creator says, you play Red uh, Red Dead Redemption 1 or 2? I haven't. I can't wait to play those, though. Lex, what's going on? Lex, he says, would you want a Batflick film now that he's back? I, I would love to see a Batflick film. What a What a waste. What a waste. To not give that man a solo movie or show. What a waste. Come on, DC. Let, let's, let's make some smart decisions. Come on now. I need to see that. Jose says, can you play God of War, please? I can't right now. <laughs> We're going to watch The Watcher. We're going to spend time together. <laughs> We're going to spend some time together. Uh, I'm on season five of Smallville. <laughs> yeah. He's too busy pimping J Lo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Uh, w couple, thank you so much, Angus. One did on that. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Fifty two thousand likes. You guys are insane. Thank you. I appreciate every single one of you, and I hope you all have a beautiful day. You guys are amazing, and this was a lot of fun. Thank Bye. you. Bye.